Congratulations, you have bought your ticket and you're on your way to New Zealand, the land of the long white clouds. But do you know what to expect when you arrive? Hi all, it's your girl, the sassy engineer. If this is your first time here, welcome to the community. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, okay, to join the community and the bell button to stay up to date with our notifications and all the shenanigans that is happening here. All right, let's get there into it. There are five international airports here in New Zealand. You have Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch, Dunedin, and Queenstown. Of these five, three of them are very common. Auckland, Christchurch, and Wellington. And of these three, Auckland is the most popular. And for a reason, Auckland to New Zealand is like Lagos to Nigeria, like New York to USA. It is the most populous city, sorry, the most populous region in New Zealand. The population in Auckland is one fifth of New Zealand. As of the last time I checked, there were about one million people. And New Zealand has a total of five million people plus or minus so there are many flights that land in Auckland than what you have in other places like Wellington and Christchurch however regardless of where you land your expectations will be somewhat the same what you will find there will be about the same thing with a little bit tweak here and there just to suit the airport on your last leg of the flight to New Zealand that's the flight that will take you from wherever you are and arrive in New Zealand you are going to be given what we call a passenger arrival card. If you don't know what passenger arrival card is, then you should watch this video for the explanation. If you're not given this card on your flight, do not panic. You are going to find them at strategic positions in the airport all the way to baggage claim. So don't panic if you are not given on your flight. And at this point where you have the passenger arrival card in the airport, there are going to be pains around. At this point if you don't have a pen then you can ask anybody people are usually very nice at the airport depending on when you arrive at the airport you're going to notice people running do not panic the reason why this happens is that sometimes flights arrive many flights arrive at the same time just within the same window 30 minutes one hour between each other so you have that there's so many people at the airport that's why you have people running or fast walking. They do this so that they can get to the queue, the immigration queue on time, get in front of the queue and pass the queue very quickly. That's why you see people rushing just to beat the queue and nothing more. So take your time, do not rush, okay? Don't panic, don't run, nothing is happening. It's just people trying to beat the queue. When you arrive at the airport, you come out of your craft into the airport through the, I don't know what that is called forgotten the name into the airport and then you walk to the airport there are toilets around so if you are pressed to pee or whatever you can use the toilet around there they are also free so don't worry about how you're going to pay for the use of this toilet and you also have like i said your passenger cart around in case you did not fill it or maybe you filled it but you made a mistake so you can take one and right again if you hadn't filled your passenger arrival card now is the time to fill it because it will be asked at the passport control or border control like some people call it we just call it immigration or customs still the same thing so fill this card especially if you're from a visa required country it's best to fill the card before you get to that part that part if you're not going to be in front of an immigration officer then you may fill the card at the baggage claim but so far as you're going to come in front of an immigration officer before you get to your bags i would advise that you fill the passport and passenger arrival card and when you get to the passport control it's a very big hall massive there are different sections there's one section for all other passports there's another section for e-passport smart passport and then you have like the New Zealand passport holders. So you have every other person on this side and then you have people on this side who would have to pass through the smart gate. They just need to put their passport and then it allows them to go if they're allowed. 
there's still custom officer around there but usually it's just the smart gate so you have the new zealand citizen of course and i think australian citizens and those who can actually come into new zealand without a visa then you have another section which is like those who can still go into new zealand but probably need visa on arrival or in the or stuff like that and then you have the rest of us <laughs> If you are from a visa required country don't even stress yourself to know what's happening on the other side just quietly join the queue carry your two late legs and join that long queue okay chances are depending on when you arrive the queue may not even be that long so join it once you get to the immigration officer once it's your turn the immigration officer will call you from wherever you'll be asked some questions I have done a video on the common immigration and custom questions that you'll get asked that video is here check it out to know these questions and how you can answer them once you are true and you are allowed to enter the country you proceed to baggage claim when you pass the border control there's a steps and uh, staircase down that will take it down to the baggage claim that's how Auckland airport is if you came with someone and the person is at the back you can actually wait for that person just on the other side a custom officer may approach you and ask you what what are you doing you can tell them oh i'm waiting for my person if they don't want you to wait they will direct you to where you should wait don't be afraid they are nice they can be nice <laughs> you walk down to baggage claim now expect to see dogs just casually walking around with a custom officer these dogs don't walk on their own they are on a leash with a custom officer so expect to see them it's not uncommon these those dogs are trained to sniff out foods that are not allowed into the country like honey for instance i've also done a video on the kind of food that you can bring into the country especially nigerian food so check it out here now you wait for your bags. Your bags will come on different carousels, which is a screen on each pillar. I will tell you where your bags are. If you don't know where your bag is, just look up on the screen. It will tell you the flight name. It has the flight number, the destination which that flight is coming from, and the carousel number. So if you're coming from Fiji, you see Fiji number two. If you're coming from Doha or Adelaide, wherever, you will see the name, your flight number, which most people don't know. Or at least you can get the the, the, um, the sorry the departure city and that number so you head to the carousel and you wait and then you pick up your bags they are trolleys lying around so you feel free to take them these trolleys are free you don't have to pay for the trolleys and you can take as many as your hand can carry once you have taken your bag this is not the end because of how new zealand is with their bar security which i talked about in this other video you would get to another security checkpoint which is the bar security there are chances that depending on what you carry the dog may sniff you and hang around you and just be rotating around on you before you even get to bar security do not panic relax the dog will not bite I sound like one of the, I sound like a dog owner. Anyway, do not panic because these dogs are on leash, so they are they are owners or the officer will be holding them, and they will just like they will also reassure you not to panic. The dog has probably sniffed something in one of your bags, and that will require extra check. This can happen before the bar security check. Anyway, so expect that to happen, but it may not happen to you if you packed correctly. Now, when you get to the bar security, there are two lanes. You have nothing to declare lane, which would be obviously green. And then you have something to declare lane. If you are carrying food, 100% be on the something to declare lane because you would have declared that you are carrying food. If you have nothing to declare, then you proceed to the nothing to declare lane. When you get to the bar security officer, they will ask you for your passenger arrival card. They don't need your passport at this time. They'll only ask you for your passenger arrival card. And they check what you have put on the passenger arrival card. Nothing to declare for real, you said? Good. The next step will be to the scanner. There's a back scanner that everyone coming into the country, regardless of if you're a citizen or not, would if and you have nothing to declare you would have to go through that bag scanner you put your bag through the scanner the scanner will check that you really have nothing to declare and once you are cleared voila welcome to new zealand 
The other side is something to declare. At the passport control, the immigration officer would ask you for your passport, which is normal, as well as your passenger arrival card. And in some cases, they will ask for other travel documents. Whatever they ask you, it's best to provide it. If you don't have it, then you can tell them why you don't have it. For the something to declare, again, you would be on the queue, you would trolley yourself, walk directly to the front. When it's your turn, the bar security officer will call you. Usually there's someone standing because the queue is usually a lot sometimes, depending on the number of people coming. So you have one or two officers standing right in front of the queue to direct people or sometimes there is no nobody there but if you have an officer standing right in the queue they will tell you where to go or sometimes the bar security will call you officer will call you themselves when is your turn the bar security officer will call you or the person standing on the queue will call you direct you to meet whichever officer that is available once you get to the officer's point they will ask you for your bar security sorry for your passenger arrival card you present your passenger arrival card to them and they will check depending on what you declare they will direct you accordingly so if you declare that you carried food for people you carry things for people you carry items for people they will direct you to where you should go to and from that point you'll be directed to the next point who will direct you to the next point before you get to the scanner so it all depends on what you have declared on your bag now let's say that you declared everything right from Everything that should be declared, you declare. You declare that you carried something for someone, you'll be sent to another officer who would ask you again for your passenger arrival card and you present to them. They don't need your passport at this point. To ask you for your passenger arrival card and he will check, he or she will check, the officer will check to be sure. Oh, you declared that you carried stuff for someone. What did you carry? And you tell them what you carried. Oh, I carried food, I carried gifts. Depending on your response, they will act accordingly. For my case, I carried food for people. So I said I carried food. They were like, oh, okay, that's it. I said, yeah, that's it. And they let me go. They said, okay, go to the next line. The next line is usually the food line. So this is where you had declared that you carried food. They want to check what kind of food did you carry? Can we let this food into our country? All around the airport, you will see dispose or risk being fined. Dispose or risk being fined. And you see photos of fruits, fresh fruit, vegetable, honey, and all those things. You're not allowed to carry these things into the country. There are disposal bins around. So before you get to your um, the bar security check, you dispose them. Declare or dispose or risk being fined. That is what you see. Declare or dispose. So... If you carry fresh fruit, that is fresh apple, even if you're given in the airport, sorry, in the on the plane, you know, dessert, fresh fruits and salad and all those things, you, you are not allowed to carry those things into the country. So put them in the bin. Either you eat them or you put them in the bin. You're not allowed to take this food into the country. So dispose it, especially when you do not declare it. It is better to dispose it. When you're on the queue for food, you'll be, when it's your turn, the officer will call you and you drag your bags with them and they'll ask you, oh, you have food. They're usually friendly because that's how they're supposed to be. If they're not friendly, then, you know, you say if you would become very um, anxious and rigid and they need you to open up to them. So, oh, you're carrying food. Yeah. Can I see what bag is the food in? you point to the bag. If food is in all your bags, they will have to check all your bags. If food is in one bag, they'll only check that one bag. The idea, the best thing is to pack all your food in one bag. So it's just easy. You know that you're only jacking one bag to the table. So you take the bag and put on the table. You open that bag yourself. They can help you open it though. And they will already have worn their gloves or whatever. And they'll start searching the bag. You, you bring out the food yourselves. They want to see that this food has been packed correctly. They want to see that this food does not have insects. It's not fresh fruits or vegetables. Those fresh fruits and vegetables are not allowed. It's not honey. Like basically they want to see that these foods are foods they can allow into their country. At this point, there's a high chance that 
some of your food may be seized or even all your food may be seized so that is why you have to watch that video that i made on traveling with food to nigeria sorry traveling with food to new zealand to avoid having your food being seized because food is expensive everywhere in the world so they will check all of this once you are clear the officer would put a sticker on that bag that they check if it was three bags they'll put that sticker on all the bags the reason is because you are going to be sent to the scanner where you pass your bags again through the scanner now the bags that have been checked by the officer would not need to go through the scanner again you only put in bags that have not been checked which is most likely your cabin bag and a few other boxes if you have extra things that calls for concern but are not exactly sure if these things can be seized or not maybe you carry too much of something too much of cigarettes too much basically maybe you carried more than you should carry you'll be sent to a different location where you'll be questioned basically why did you carry many of these things so you want to pack accordingly so that you don't get that extra questioning which lengthens your time at the airport if you are cleared you pass through the scanner and if your bags are cleared in the scanner welcome to new zealand that is what you should expect at the airport once you arrive at the airport you will see people waiting to receive their loved one as well on the right on the left side you have right shares like uber ola and other taxis follow the signs otherwise if your people are waiting for you outside you call them if you don't have any way of getting in but you want to book hire a car car hiring services are usually on the right side that is what you should expect when you arrive in new zealand i hope this has helped you and i believe now you know what to do when you arrive at the airport so you'll be less tensed for all those thinking of what should i expect oh my god am i going to be arrested for carrying this or that i hope you are calm now and you've learned a thing or two please feel free to share this video to someone you know who would help that person if he's traveling to new zealand anytime soon or will be traveling or is planning to travel to new zealand share this video with them do not forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye now